In P9, it's the Algerian star, Leo Robinson, on the fifth row on the inside line for Fusion Motorsport. What can he do in a very precious position? The X30 Junior Final is about to get underway here at Dueda, the first round of the AMI Euro Series 2022, promoted by the RGMMC Group. So this could be a very exciting start. They come down the tram lines, lights out. Now, down to the first corner, Garcia gets a good run. And he's going to get pressure right from the get-go from Clement Utran and Hugo Martiniello. They run up to turn two. And as they go through the right-hander, the conflagration is a little bit tight in the juniors, but everybody gets through turn two, up to three, and into the hairpin. Sacha Van Badbosch has consolidated in second place behind Aaron Garcia. No problems for the leader. He's well gone. But Hugo Martiniello has moved into third place provisionally as he gets pressure and challenge already from Utran and Jocelyn. Utran cannot sustain third for the moment. Hugo Martiniello holds it. Henry Jocelyn with a good start, and he's making a move already on the inside. P4. Henry Jocelyn gets past Clement Utran, who's now going to get some support from his teammate, the Belgian Thibaut Ramakers. As they run up the top of the hill, looks like we've had a couple of offs on the exit of turn four. And it looks like one of them is Oliver Stilp, unfortunately. So that is a race with time and already as the VDKs are under threat now from Adrian Ferra. Ferra trying to get past Ramakers and round the outside he holds it. Brilliant from Adrian Ferra. There is the first retirement. That is Oliver Still walking away. What a shame. So Aaron Garcia leads by eight tenths of a second already as Utran gets back on terms with Henry Jocelyn and gets up into fourth position. So the race battle for Junior X30 has got underway in earnest. And Utran is back in the fourth ahead of Jocelyn. Some good dueling going on for the drivers behind them. Have we got more problems coming out of turn four? Looks as though it's going to be a tight race in the midfield. Lots of drivers trying to make up progress and make an overtake or two. It will not be easy. As on the inside line, they battle through turn seven. Leo Robinson trying to make up ground, having fallen to ninth behind George Nassar. But your leader is Garcia, second Van Bosch, third Martin Yellow. Can Aaron Garcia hold on to this for the entirety of the race? and come through for the victory. It'll be a really tough battle for him as he comes through, but he's got pressure from Van Padbosch, Martiniello, and Clement Dutran. Across the line, and into turn one. Clement Utran doing an absolutely incredible job as he battles away into the first corner and into turn two. Utran gets in on side, Martiniello. Martiniello is defending, and he holds the place. Again, Utran goes for it into turn four. And this time, the move is made. Meanwhile, Sasha Van Bad Bosch is chipping away at Aaron Garcia's advantage. And the gap, which was eight tenths of a second, is down to less than a quarter of a second now. So Utran in third, Martin Yellow in fourth from Ferrat, Jocelyn, Ramakas, Robinson, Caranta, and Georges Nassar. Hugo Magnas finds himself in 11th. And Raul Fantharen is doing a very tough run in the middle of the pack as well. So the race battles continue, but Garcia and Van Padbosch are going to be battling for the win. Ferra tries to get on the inside of Martin Yellow. Martin Yellow slams the door in his face. And again, Ferra tries to get stuck in. But Garcia and Van Padbosch are still resolutely together. Van Padbosch could get his first taste of the lead here. Garcia knows he's there. Over the line, into turn one. They are together. Utran, Ferra. Then it is Martin Yellow from Ramakas. Jocelyn, Robertson, Nassar, Manyas. Here we go. The gaggle's going to be very closely matched. Sasha Van Padbosch is going with Aaron Garcia. He wants to stretch away from Clement Dutran. He does not want the Frenchman to even have a sniff of the victory. Macaulay Bishop sets the fastest lap of the race, having made a little bit of progress. But Macaulay Bishop is currently in 13th position. Battling side by side through turn five. That is a little bit of a headache moment for the 29 of Gilles Caranta. The expert racing driver is going to dive on the inside and gets through on Hugo Magnas. And the door's left wide open as through goes Dunthalen and Thibaut Ramakas tries to hold it round the outside. It's not going to pay off. So Ramakas has to fall into position behind Hugo Magnas. A lot of drivers we weren't expecting to be towards the front are making a play for it. Leo Robinson is now seventh. George Nassar is having a great race. What a run from the Lebanese driver in eighth position. Through to turn one on lap five. Four down, ten to go. 
Sasha Van Padbosch is not going to make the overtake before he has to. He's just trying to stretch away from Clement Utran. The gap between him and the cart behind is about nine tenths of a second. As Garcia wants to lead going away, Van Padbosch is going to give him a lot of pressure. Through to the turn five hairpin. Garcia goes a little wide. That's going to compromise both drivers because Sasha Van Padbosch isn't going to make the overtaking move just yet. Down to the hairpin at turn seven. Garcia is getting a little bit agitated, trying to defend Sasha Van Padbosch into the apexes. You do kind of wonder where is Sasha Van Padbosch going to make his ultimate bid. It's very early in the race, but if he's got more pace than Garcia, he may not want to sit behind him too long. As Clement Utran is going to be there for the taking as well. Garcia struggling for overall grip. And Sasha Van Badbosch coming off the turn, out of the final corner and down the straight. What can Sasha Van Badbosch do this time? Is he going to make the overtaking move into turn one? No, sits behind Garcia. What about two? Still sits behind Garcia, still wants that gap. But Utran is catching them on the toe. So the slipstream is going his way. And that's not going to work well for Garcia and Van Padbosch. They want to get well clear. But Clement Utran is still giving the pressure. Leo Robinson sets the fastest lap of the race. And we've had an off further down the order. Couldn't quite make out who that was, losing about eight or nine positions. But certainly we've had someone come off the road. I think it's uh, Sasha Avril and Vic Stevens that have gone off. They've both recovered, but Sasha Avril is the one that's lost the most time. So, Aaron Garcia from Sasha Van Padbosch. The gap between them opens up to a quarter of a second. Adrian Ferrer gets up into fourth place ahead of Robinson, Jocelyn, George Nassar, who is now in seventh place in front of Hugo Martiniello. So impressed with George Nassar in this one. He really is giving it full guns blazing as he comes off the final turn in the toe of Henry Jocelyn. Sasha Van Padbosch is a quarter of a second away. That's a retirement. That is Vic Stevens. He has to watch in the rest of this final, I'm afraid. So Vic Stevens joins Elouan Bianime and Oliver Stilp on the sidelines. Sasha Avril has fallen to the back of the field. So Leo Robinson has a lot of pressure now. He's got through past Adrian Ferrer into fourth place. So Leo Robinson, the Algerian, runs in front of the Spanish talent, Adrian Ferrer. Sixth is Jocelyn, then Nassar, Martin Yellow, Caranta and Thibaut Ramakas from Roll Thantharen. Although now Thantharen has actually been overtaken by Macaulay Bishop. Bishop is up to 11th. Wasn't the best of starts in the end for Macaulay Bishop. He lost a few places, but he is gaining them back. The problem is, is that once he gets into the top 10, he's going to make up four and a half seconds on these two. Aaron Garcia and Sasha Van Padbosch are about to complete the half distance lap. Seven done, seven to go. Who is going to get the win? Still none the wiser. Garcia and Van Padbosch. 1.2 ahead of Clement Utran. So Sasha Van Padbosch is playing the smart game. Just sitting back, waiting for the gap to open up. And once it does, he can start to think about the race lead on about lap 13. I wouldn't really make a bid for it before then. Cahal Clark. Pops up to the top of the timesheets with a 104.8 for the Victory Lane karting team. It's going to be a very tough season between these two if this is anything to go by. Are we going to see more from Aaron Garcia across the rest of the season? Battling away with Sasha Van Padbosch. It's certainly looking mighty close for him at this moment in time. So Aaron Garcia runs in front of Sasha Van Padbosch. The MDC Racing Beryl Art going very well at the top of the run at the moment. Here comes Leo Robinson, running in fourth. Dueling away with Adrian Ferrer. Ferrer still looking for a way on the inside. Wasn't so long ago that these two were both racing against each other in Mini X30. So Robinson and Ferrer know each other's tricks of old. Is Ferrer going to go through? No, he's going to plant the cart right in behind Leo Robinson's bumper. And charge up to turn two. No overtake. Henry Jocelyn is right there in sixth position. Having made good progress last year, now he is a top five regular. Through they come again, trying to close up on Clement Utran. Bishop bangs in another fastest lap, and that puts him into 10th place. And move on the inside, that is Caranta on Martin Yellow. So Jules Caranta gets into seventh place on Hugo Martin Yellow. Georges Nassar is there in ninth position, trying to hope for a maneuver or two of his own. But Gilles Caranta is definitely making steady progress now. 
So, a tough battle in the offing for Garcia and Van Bosch. Here they are, still together, no change. So Van Bosch tucks in right behind the Spanish talent. What can Garcia do here to fend off from Sasha Van Bosch? Into lap 10 they go. Nine done, five to go. Clement Utran is not out of this yet in third. And Robinson and Ferrer could strike if they get close enough. And judging by the close battles that we have seen from the competitors in Junior X30 so far, there is every chance of a strong move forward. So we could still see a very tight battle between these drivers. Robinson holding on in front of Adrian Ferrer for the moment. Down the back straight. And on the run to turn seven. Ferrer not close enough to launch on the inside of Robinson just yet. Plus, there's no major percentage in doing so. You lose a little bit of traction. The ultimate battle is the win. They don't just want fourth position. They want to go for the podium. So they've got to play the long game here. Just let the laps tick down. Start to pressure your opponent and see what happens. But Aaron Garcia is leading the race in fine style on the MDC Biralat as they come on the main straight once again. Sasha Van Bedbosch is right there. Still less than a tenth between them at the line. Such is the rapidity and the speed of the two as they come through. Garcia sat in front of Van Bosch. Clement Utran is within a second. And Van Bosch again just... Oh! Getting close to each other! Garcia runs out wide! Van Bosch running side by side! They bang wheels! And now Van Bosch is your leader! Garcia in second. So the Dutchman gets through with four to go. That has really tightened things up. Here comes Clement Utran. All of a sudden, a two-man brawl has become a five-couple. Garcia nudges Van Bosch and gets through. Utran comes through to try and get past. In a second, he goes. Aaron Garcia into the lead of the race again. Robinson through to third. Ferro through to fourth. And in fifth place, it is Sasha Van Bosch. Sixth position for Jocelyn. So now we're in for a ferocious battle to the death here. Aaron Garcia is going to have a lot of pressure from Clement Utran. A little bit of a dust up from Van Bosch as he runs through in fifth position. Utran is there in second place. Is there going to be a tough run now as Utran works his magic on the inside? Comes Robinson. Utran nearly got round the outside there. Robinson through to second. Ferrer through to third. Garcia is parking it. Defending with three to go. Robinson gets alongside. Garcia slams the door shut. Here comes Ferrer. Ferrer's going to get into second. Utran to third. Utran round the outside. Into second. Excellent from Utran. It's not done yet. Robinson and Jocelyn go wheel to wheel. Sasha Van Bad Bosch might assist his teammate to move up. As round the outside of Utran. That is a brilliant move from Adrian Ferrer. Ferrer is now all over the back of Aaron Garcia. Now he's going to get alongside. Garcia slams the door. Ferrer's through. Adrian Ferrer's through. Utran's through. Jocelyn's through. Adrian Ferrer takes the lead. And there's another Spanish star in town. Jocelyn now goes for Utran. Utran goes wide. And there goes Garcia, Robinson, and I think we're going to get to see Macaulay Bishop now make his bid on the inside line as Ferrer leads from Jocelyn Garcia and Robinson. Ferrer still defending, Jocelyn over the back! How did he save that? Amazing from Jocelyn, great reactions. So now around the outside of Garcia, Robinson is trying to get into the lead. He has to hang back in third. Ferrer is your leader, Garcia in second, Garcia swings the long way round of the hairpin to try and cut back in on the mole racing Tony Card of Adrian Ferrer. He dives in on the inside and he's through, Ferrer runs wide. So Ferrer runs wide and now Robinson trying to get past as Garcia is holding it on the defensive line. Here comes Bishop now trying to get past. What a fight back this is from McCauley Bishop into third, make that second. What if Macaulay Bishop could steal this? He suddenly got himself into B2. Now he's going to try and take on Garcia. Here he goes. Bishop leads. One lap to go. And Macaulay Bishop is now in front. Here comes Garcia back for more. Last lap begins. Bishop holds it through turn one. Garcia will come straight back at him. Bishop has got to be wide as a Buick now in lap one. Here they come. 
Can McCauley Bishop hold on to this? Round the outside comes Robertson. Garcia tucks in on Bishop. No, you don't. Oh, contact. Garcia and Robertson. Several cards spat out. No, you don't. Oh, contact. Garcia and Robertson. Several cards spat out. Robertson is out of the race. Disaster for Leo Robertson. It's all gone wrong for Leo. Nice. Macaulay Bishop is going to win in Duana. Oh my goodness. Macaulay Bishop takes the win from Sasha Van Padbosch and Henry Jocelyn. Adrian Ferrer is fourth from Raul Van Thaden, George Nassar and a very unhappy Aaron Garcia and a distraught Leo Robinson. Pedro Cachada was the last one home. Sasha Avril and Vic Stevens retired, as did Eloan Bianame and Oliver Stilp.